guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're continuing on this sort of series I have going on my channel where I'm talking about the top six blank worth every single penny. I've already done foundations and concealers and today we're going to be talking about powders. Six powders that I just think are worth every single penny in my eyes. Most of these I'm gonna talk about today, I have gone through and I'm on like my second one and they're just powders that I just really, really genuinely love. I will go ahead and link down below my foundation and my concealer one. I kind of did it in like a weird order with the foundations and concealers and now powders and I didn't do primers. So I might backtrack and do primers before I move on to like blush, bronzer, highlight, eyeshadow palettes, all of the above. But you guys seem to be enjoying these videos and me talking about like my top six ones that I just love so, so much. So we are going to continue on today, like I said, with setting powders. So before I get started, if you like this look, it is one of the looks that I made with my Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde palette. I put up a one week, one palette a couple weeks back now. I'm kind of trying to pre-film a little bit because I get my second dose of the COVID-19 vaccine on February 26th and I'm just kind of banking on being down for the count that whole weekend. I don't know if I will be, but I wanted to pre-film and make sure I had enough videos that were going up for you guys like after that so I could take that weekend off filming if that makes any sense. So I'm kind of like filming a few weeks in advance, but if you like this look, it is one of the looks that I made with Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. I will link that in the eye and down below for you guys if you have not checked out that video. Also, don't forget I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday for you guys. If you like this video while you're watching it, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really does help me out. And other than that, if you are excited and you want to hear about the top six powders that I just think are worth every penny, then let's go ahead and get started. So just like in my past two videos, we're going to start off with the most affordable and work our way up to the most expensive. And the most affordable powder that I have to talk to you about isn't necessarily like a setting powder. The rest of these are setting powders. This is kind of just like a finishing powder for me, but I love this powder. I, I, I had to include it. I just had to. And it is the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. Oh my gosh, this powder is so stinking good. I have talked about it a lot, a lot <laughs> on my channel and my Instagram page. It's only $4.99. $4.99, $5, that's it, $5, and it is the best. I will say it's Essence, so because it is so affordable, the packaging really stinks. Like, I'm not gonna lie, this is the second one I've gone through, and the first one broke on me, the second one obviously broke on me, I'm gonna buy a third, and I'm gonna guess it's probably gonna break on me too, but I don't even care, like, I, it doesn't matter to me because I just love this powder so much. How I use it is I just take the brush that I use to set under my eyes and I use this under my eyes. I use it in my t-zone and then also usually up under my contour or bronzer just to kind of clean everything up, finish the look, make it look nice and sharp and polished and put together. If I make a mistake anywhere, if I bring my bronzer down a little bit too low, my blush over a little bit too much, my highlight, just if I make any sort of mistake, this just cleans it right up. Like I said, I just swoop it and put it on my face. And I just, I love this powder so much. And the fact that it's $5 and it's so good. I just, I love it. I don't know if they have any other shades to it. Cause I don't think that this brighten up shade would necessarily work for deeper skin tones. So I'm not entirely sure if they have other shades of this. That's definitely something to keep in mind if you want to purchase it, but I just, this is so good. I've been using this for years now and this one, as you can tell, is almost gone and I will 1 million percent repurchase it and be on my third compact of it because it is that good. The second powder I have to talk to you about is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. This powder, I mean, they're all good. They're my favorites, but this one is so stinking good. So I, this powder has been around forever, for a very long time and it is very hyped up and so many people love it and so many people talk about it and so many people rave about it. And I just recently tried this maybe a year ago or so, and I don't know what took me so long to try it, but I just, I don't know, I never thought that a drugstore powder could be as good as this powder, and it, I never thought it would live up to the hype that everyone says, just because so many people hype it up. I was like, but is it, is it really that good? Yes, it's that good. It's amazing. It's $7.99, $8, so it's so affordable, and I'm pretty sure it comes in like eight or 10 different shades. So you'll be able to find one that matches your skin tone, whatever your skin tone is. I have the lightest one because I'm a ghost. I have the 05 Fair Shade. And like I said, it's the lightest one it comes in. This is the second one that I have purchased because I just love it that much. I went through one complete one and I don't think, I, I think I had it like not in my collection, maybe two or three weeks. And I was like, nope, miss it, need it back. And I like immediately rebought it pretty much after I use it all up. You've probably heard a million people talk about this a million different times and it's definitely worth 
all the good things people say about it. It just sets your face so beautifully without being drying. It doesn't really, I mean, it mattifies it a little bit, obviously, because it's a powder, but it doesn't really alter the finish too, too much of whatever, you know, foundation concealer you're using with it. But it just sets it down, makes it look so nice and flawless. And again, it's not drying. I really, really struggle with powders and stuff being drying on me. And this one is not. It is, it's so stinking good. If you have not tried it, I highly, highly recommend. So those are really the only two drugstore powders that I have and the next one I have to talk about definitely jumps up in price quite a bit. I actually do not own the one that I want to talk about next anymore. I used it completely up and I need to repurchase it soon but it is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Loose Setting Powder. This powder is so stinking good. Like I said, I completely used one up, so I don't have it in my collection anymore, but I will definitely be repurchasing it at some point in the future. I want to preface and say that it does have a scent to it. It's a very light, almost perfumey scent, but nothing like Huda Beauty's perfumey scent. It's just a very light scent. I personally didn't mind it. It didn't bother me, but if you are sensitive to scents, I would just keep that in mind. I used the shade Butter, I believe is the one I had. I didn't tell you how much it retail for. It's $32. So you definitely go up in price from $5 to $8 to $32. So I, but I think it's worth it. I really do. It is a really great powder. Like I said, for the third time, I finished one up completely and it is so stinking good. It's another one that just sets your powder nicely. It does blur the slightest bit, not like a ton, but it, it just sets your face nicely, isn't drying, looks really, really good. It's another one that comes in multiple different shades. I don't know how many, but it's Fenty, so probably quite a few because they are have really great shade ranges and pretty much everything. I know it was in BoxyCharm recently, so I'm hoping more people are getting the chance to try it out because that's a, I don't know, that's a powder I really don't hear too many people talking about, I feel like. I know that Fenty is such a huge brand and there are a lot of products that are staples for people that get a ton of hype and the gloss bombs and products like that, but I don't know. I feel like there are definitely some underrated products in the Fenty Beauty line, like the setting spray and then this loose setting powder. I don't hear a lot of people talking about it and it's a really, really great powder. It is $32. I maybe would try to get it during a Sephora sale or something, or I know Fenty has sales pretty often, I feel like, on their website, so maybe you could get it on sale then, but I, I really love this powder a lot. Editing Emily here. I also wanted to say that the packaging on the Fenty powder is terrible. Like, it is a mess. It's a hot mess. It gets everywhere. There's so much... How do I explain it? The lip is, like, really big and, like, thick, if that makes sense. So a lot of powder pulls in the top of it and it gets like down on the side where it screws and it's just it's a hot mess it really is it'll get everywhere the powder will get everywhere but it's worth it in my opinion still because it's just such a dang good powder so the fourth powder i have to talk to you about is one that kind of crept up on me a little bit i actually wasn't going to talk about it in this video i had another one in its place i was going to talk about the laura mercier translucent setting powder instead of this one but that's one that gets like a lot of hype and i've talked about that a lot of times on my channel in the past i do love that powder a lot i thought about putting it in this video but I changed my mind and put this one in instead and it's the cover fx perfect setting powder I have the shade translucent light so this is a powder I bought this half off during the Ulta 21 days of beauty probably like two years ago or so and I used up one complete one of this I bought it because a lot of people were raving about it a while ago I really don't see too much hype around it now but I know a lot of like bigger youtubers were talking about it a couple years ago like I know Manny MUA talked about it a lot and loved it a lot and so that's like why I ended up picking it up half off. And like I said, I used the whole thing and I liked it. I thought it was a good powder. I thought it was nice. I thought it set my face and I used it all up and I had no really intentions on repurchasing it. And then CoverFX actually sent it to me in PR probably like two or three months ago and I've been using it since. And this is such a good powder. It has really blown me out of the water. I don't know if it's like my skin being different that I like it so much more this time around. Like a couple years ago when I tried it, I was more oily, now I'm more dry and it's not a super drying powder. I don't know what really changed my mind because I just thought it was like okay back then and now I like really really love it again I'm not really sure why but this is a really great powder it's another one they all they all, I mean they all, I love all of these but it's another one that just sets my face very nicely it's not drying it just sets it down and you know your makeup's not going to go anywhere and it's just a good powder if that makes sense it's just a good staple powder I don't think there's anything necessarily crazy special about this powder but it's just 
good. You just know whenever you use it, your makeup's gonna look good. It's gonna last, it's gonna set it, it's not gonna be drying, and it's just a good powder. It retails for $35. So not like the cheapest powder out there, obviously. Again, I got it half off during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty a while ago, so it might be in the sale. Again, I've seen it in the sale multiple times. You probably could get it half off if you really wanted to try it out, but yeah, this is one, like I said, it snuck up on me. I didn't think it was that great, and then now using it this time around, I like it a lot, I really do. Number five is another one that stuck up on me and I didn't think I liked it as much as I do and I freaking love this powder. I, I'm almost done with it and I really did not think I was gonna repurchase it but I really I really think I'm going to. It's an Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder. I have the shade Vanilla. This is so good. I bought this pretty much right when it launched a while ago, probably like over a year now, and I was like, oh my gosh, this powder is huge, it's gonna last me forever, and it, it really doesn't have like much more product than any other loose setting powder, I just think the component's really big, so I don't love that, it's a pretty big bulky component, but it's not the end of the world, but this is so good, so I, it's almost done, like I said, I really don't have that much left, and I really think if I just like focused on it and used it consistently for a couple weeks, I could use it completely up, and I was trying to do that. So I realized, okay, I don't have that much powder left. Like I'm just gonna use it, you know, a lot these next couple weeks, months, whatever, and try to use it up because I didn't think it was my favorite. I don't know. I just didn't think that I loved it. But because I've been using it so often recently, trying to use it up, I have really, really fallen in love with this powder. It is a great powder. It's not drying, but the main thing that I love about this, it makes my face look perfect. Like. It blurs it and it makes it look matte, but again, not drying, but it just, I don't even know how to explain it. It blurs, I feel like my pores, it just makes my face look airbrushed and flawless and just so set, but not flat or dry. I, there is just something special about this powder and I really don't know how to explain it, but every single time I use this and every single time I set my face with this, I am blown away with how good my makeup looks and how long it lasts throughout the day. Again, I was fully going to just use this up and never repurchase it because I was like, mm, it's not it's not that great. Uh, wrong. <laughs> it's so stinking good. And when this is gone, I'm definitely going to repurchase it. It is $38. So it's, it's up there in price. I will say I talked about it in a video a while back and someone commented on it saying that they've seen it at Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something like that for a discounted price. So maybe if you shop there for makeup, keep your eye out. But this is one that again, snuck up on me. Didn't think I loved it. And I really, really do. And I'm definitely, definitely going to repurchase it when this one is gone. And lastly, my sixth and final powder is one that it's pricey. It's bougie. It's pricey. It's expensive. And I didn't want to like it. I really, really did not want to like it. And this is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. So I just got this little baby size last summer for my birthday gift from Sephora. That was an option from Sephora if you were rouge to get this little guy and then a little sample of like their veil primer. I think that's what it's called. I don't know exactly what that primer is called, but I like the primer too. But I tried this out and I was like, okay, there's so much hype behind this powder, so much stinking hype, and it is pricey and it's expensive and it's been around for a long time and everyone just seems to love it. So I wanted to try this little baby size, that's why I picked it as my birthday gift, fully expecting to not like it as much as everyone else does, fully expecting to be like, mm, it's overhyped, it's not that great, like, it's just a powder. I love this powder so much that I bought the full size. <laughs> I wasn't going to, and then I think this was on sale at Netta Porter, I believe. I think I got this during a sale or on sale. Not like a ton, but I think that's why I ended up picking up the full size. But you guys, it's a good powder. It is. The full size retails for $46. $46. That is so much for a setting powder. And I usually, I've said this in the past, I usually don't think insanely high priced items that have a ton of hype behind them. I usually don't think they're worth the money. I usually don't think they're as good or as hyped as everyone says and thinks they are, but this one is so good. It's the least drying powder that I have of all the powders that I talked about today and all the other ones in my collection. It's just, it's such a lightweight, finely milled powder that isn't drying at all, like I just said, but it still sets your face. Like if I, for some reason, picked a foundation or a primer combination or something that just is not working out too, too well 
on my face and it is looking a little dry and it is looking a little cakey. This is always the powder that I go to to use because it is my least drying powder, but it still sets your face nicely. It's very lightweight. It doesn't feel like anything on your face, but your makeup still gets set and it's still going to lock it in place and be set all day, if that makes sense. Like it's not gonna move around or do anything funky because the powder is so lightweight. I just, I really did not wanna like this. I didn't because of the price but it is so stinking good. I just really love this powder. I haven't opened the big one yet because this little baby guy is going strong. I thought I was gonna get like two, three uses out of this and I have used this so, so many times. It is getting a lot harder to get out. So I think I'm, you know, towards the end of it, but that gives me hope that this big expensive one I bought is going to last for a lifetime, which is awesome because it's very expensive and it's overhyped and it's a lot of money, but it's worth it guys. I really do think it's worth it. And that was it, you guys. That was my six powders that I just think are worth every single penny. I love them all, most of them. I'm on my second container of it because I've gone through one complete one and I just love it so much or I'm going to be on my second one very soon. They're just great powders that are really nice, especially on my skin. I've liked most of these for a while now, back when my skin was a little bit more oily and now when it's getting a lot more dry. They just work really well on me. They set my face nicely. They're not drying. They look good and all of the above. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite powder is, whether it be drugstore, high-end, loose, pressed, whatever. I wanna hear all of your guys' favorite powders as well. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You're awesome and I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.